With 1 million square feet of exhibit space, the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center Dallas is one of the largest convention centers in the nation. Every year it welcomes over a million visitors attending major national and international conventions, meetings, concerts, auto shows, and more. You know, one of the most important industries we have in Dallas is the uh, convention and, and visitors and tourism business. And we would never have great conventions unless we have a great convention center. Investing in that uh, uh, property it was one of the most important things that the city of Dallas ever did. It all began in 1957 when the Dallas Memorial Auditorium opened its doors at the corner of Canton and Ackard Streets. Designed by famed architect George Stull, the convention center was way ahead of its time, hosting the late Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. during the National Baptist Convention meeting in June of 1957. In the 1950s and into the mid-1970s, the Dallas Memorial Auditorium was the premier concert venue for North Texas, hosting popular musicians like The Beatles, Elvis Presley, Led Zeppelin, The Doors, and The Who. In 1973, the Dallas Memorial Auditorium was expanded and renamed the Dallas Convention Center. The following year, Mary Kay Inc. hosted its first worldwide seminar at the newly expanded Dallas Convention Center. Of course, we all know that this was just the beginning of a very long relationship between the Convention Center and Mary Kay. The Convention Center was expanded in 1984 to include a 103,000 square foot exhibit hall, a new ballroom, and additional meeting spaces. The city of Dallas received national attention that summer when it hosted the Republican National Convention. The facility underwent two more expansions in 1994 and 2002, making it a top convention destination with more than 1 million square feet of exhibit space. In May 2009, Dallas residents approved construction of the Omni Dallas Convention Center Hotel a 1,001-room hotel that is attached to the convention center by a two-story sky bridge. It opened in late 2011, under budget and ahead of schedule. Two years later, the Dallas City Council made history and renamed the convention center after U.S. Senator K. Bailey Hutchison, making it the nation's first convention center ever to be named after a female. Tourism is big business for Dallas, with over $7.8 billion generated in the, for the local economy last year. Because of our strong partnership with the team at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center, we're booking more business than ever before. Last year was a record year with over 42 citywide events booked for the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center and over 2.4 million room nights booked for future consumption. So I think the future, the future for Dallas and the Convention Center District is really endless in the sense of it's it's past its slow growth time and now it's really building on the momentum that's been created in the last few years it is really endless what's going to happen here today visitors can walk to new restaurants and explore a vibrant downtown or take the dart and explore historic landmarks nationally recognized museums or the largest contiguous arts district in the nation for 60 years, this convention center has welcomed visitors to the city, and I'm looking forward to their continued service in the spirit of excellence. Join us in raising a glass to 60 more years of success and innovation at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center, Dallas.